Hey guys, welcome back to Home Built, and today we're going to try and finish up the trim on the 680. All right, those of you who watched the other day saw me make these door trims up, which I'm really happy with the uh, the end result, but there's a few bits that I still need to work on. I just sort of folded it all over on the back here, and it's covered up the holes where the clips go, and the foam comes up too far. So what I'm gonna go do now is um, peel these back, trim off the foam a little bit lower. I want the foam to be over the corner, but not right up the back, because it just sort of gets in the way. So let's go through now and trim and tidy these up. So that took quite a bit to get this strip off. This strip here is the strip with the, the fur on it that, um, that the window slides against on the inside of the, uh, the door trim. And now I've got them stripped back. These are the metal uh, sort of top parts of the door trims. A lot of these old cars have this sort of metal part on them. So my next challenge is to trim this and also to... Um, before I can trim it, I need to line it up with the, uh, the door trim. So I need to take it over to the car, clip the door trims on, make sure that this all clips on in the exact right spot, and uh, then work out how to attach this to this. All right, so I clipped my uh, door trims on. They fit beautifully. And now I've, uh, I've lined up and worked out exactly where this top panel is gonna go. Now the issue I have is that originally this panel was riveted on to the masonite of the original door trims with these uh, sort of big flat headed rivets that came in from the other side. I don't have those rivets and also it's gonna be quite difficult to use them on this because before it had sort of, it was riveted on first and the sheet of vinyl was over the top of the whole thing. This is going to be in two different sections. Because I want a bit of contrast, this, if I did everything all in the Alcantara, I think it would be a little bit too much. So I'm going to be doing a bit of both. So I've got the Alcantara at the bottom, and I'm going to have this top section covered in the black vinyl. So it's sort of give a nice, a nice contrast between the two. The, um, the thing I'm going to have to do is I'm, I'm working out a way to attach this, because obviously you have to cover this in vinyl and sit it in behind this door trim. What my plan is, is similar to what I used, similar to what I used in uh, some of the bits on my 911, I actually got these, uh, these little paper clip things, they're little things that uh, spread open like this. I'm going to peel back this top edge, drill the corresponding holes, um, and poke these through from the face, so they'll go through from the front behind this cloth, and they'll be poking out the back, and then I can stick the, uh, the top edge over it, and then spread them out, clip it down, and the two parts will be joined together. That way, it should, should still do the job and uh, be a bit easier for me to manage. So, first things first is uh, let's mark out where this goes on this door trim and drill some holes. All right, so I've gone through and all of these clips are coming through. So they're hidden on the front edge. You can't see them on the front. They're all hidden in underneath. But they come through, so they're ready to accept my little top piece. I've now got my black vinyl out and I've marked out the, um, the shape I need. So now it's a matter of cutting it out and uh, gluing on the vinyl and then I can sort of attach everything up and then we should be done on these door trims.
and there we have it. We have the uh, door trim, the vinyl top on the uh, quilted main section. So now let's go and try and fit it in the car and hope that I did everything right. Now it works. Okay, so one down, one to go. All right, the door trims are looking really good, but that brings me back to uh, these covers I did a couple of weeks ago on the tail light covers and how I really hated all the, uh, the creases and junk around the edge. They just looked terrible. So I'm going to give them, I've got a plan of attack on how to fix these up, so I'm just going to see if I can give them a go. Basically what my plan is, is I'm going to peel it off and cut a wedge shape out of the corners so that I can stretch it and hopefully I can glue it together tight enough that there'll be an almost invisible seam where it joins. That's the plan anyway, so let's see how it goes. All right, and that looks a whole lot better. I mean, it's not perfect. You can sort of see some of the uh, the seams here, if this camera will focus. Yeah, so you can sort of see, you can see the seam. You can see a little bit of light there. That's where the screw goes through. But um, it looks so much better and uh, disappeared right down the back. I think it's going to look the part. And following the theme of fixing up things that I messed up earlier, um, these panels here, they look quite nice from a distance, but the issue I was having is that in the corners, I had to sort of do this slice and I've pasted a piece underneath and it's lifting up. So um, I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna trim this out, I'm gonna piece another little triangular piece on the inside of this here and just get them sitting down just nice and, and make them a bit tidier because I'm not happy with the current state of that finish. All right, that is a win. They look much, much better. Um, if you look close, you can still see the triangles that are in the corners. I don't know if this camera is focusing on this, but there's a little, like the, the triangles are quite neat in the corners. They're tucked up in there. You'd have to look pretty close to notice them. That's the only way I can see to get these things to work properly, besides flocking them or doing something like that, which I don't particularly want to do. I like the feel of this, um, the Alcantara, and um, I'm happy with that, so, all right, the next thing I need to do is uh, work on a couple more panels. Okay, so moving on, there's a couple of extra little panels that uh, these sit in front of the wheel arches between the, uh, the, the door and the wheel arch, and uh, I need to make up a couple of these panels. Um, this, is the, uh, this is an old one, so this is the shape. Draw them on, cut them out, trim them up, <laughs> let's do it. Well, that is looking really good. 
this interior is really coming together. So um, it's uh, another day down, but that is all the time I have for today. So that means it must be time for Fun Facts with Mrs. Jeff. Hey guys, Ultra Suede is the trade name for a synthetic ultra microfiber fabric invented in 1970 by Dr. Miyoshi Okamoto. Yokomoto was a scientist working for Torei Industries in Japan and he developed ultra suede as an alternative to suede leather. In 1972, Okamoto and Torei Industries started a joint venture with Italian chemical company ENI and together they produced a fabric which used the same technology as ultra suede and which they called Alcantara. Ultra suede was made in Japan and originally marketed for the US market whereas Alcantara was entirely made in Italy and was marketed as a luxury European brand. Nowadays, there are many different manufacturers of these microfiber suedes produced around the world based on the same technology. All right, guys, that's it for another week. This interior is really starting to come together. There's still a little bit to do. I've still got to do these uh, covers over the wheel arch, uh, some of the bits and pieces over the tunnel, um, and also the carpet, which is a separate thing again, and the center of the seats. But it's coming together. I'm, uh, I'm happy with the, with the results. That's great. Uh, what do you think? I love the blue. It's my favorite color. I, I, yeah, the, I like keep the, saying the, this. The blue stitching. Yeah, I really like yeah. the blue stitching. It's great. Yeah, I think, I think it's, uh, it's, it's looking good. <laughs> and we haven't had quite as many comments about this as we had on the Porsche 911. I know. This, this car's I don't just know why. People just aren't as, yeah. It's just obviously not cool enough to pull off the Tartan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In any case, um, that's it for another week. <laughs> Please like, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, that really helps us out. Merch in the description, and um, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. See you, guys. I can't retain it in my brain. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> my brain is full. However, yeah. do you feel like you're really mean to me right now? Same formula. Technology! Formula's not in it. Nowadays, there are many different... <laughs> no, I don't think I can.